Hello! Today we're going to make some low carb turkey patties. Look at how tasty these look. I mean, really delicious looking stuff. Come with me, let's make them. All right, to make this recipe, you're going to need some lettuce. You're also going to need half of a red bell pepper. You're gonna need some spinach. This is gonna be so healthy, just look. You'll need some onion and a few cloves of garlic. You'll also need about a half of an avocado or however much you wanna eat, really and some tomato. You'll need some ground turkey, some salt and pepper, some very difficult to work with dried herbs, keep falling over in the background, and some Cajun seasoning, and lastly, a little bit of high heat oil. I'm going to use avocado oil. So to begin, I'm going to add a bit of onion to the food processor. I'm using the food processor to make everything ground up very, very finely um, because I'm going to add it to the turkey and make turkey patties. So you don't want like giant pieces of onion and garlic in your patty. Unless you do, then you do it your way. This is the way that I'm going to do it. Next, I'm going to add half of the red bell pepper to the food processor and I'm going to add some garlic cloves as well. Now I'm going to process all of these vegetables until they are very finely chopped and your vegetables will look something like this. Next, I'm going to take my ground turkey and add the vegetables to the ground turkey. Make sure you get every single doggone drop. Rake it all out. Rake it all out. We don't waste food over here. Get out of here. But don't, come back and make this recipe. Next, I'm going to season the mixture with the Cajun seasoning. It's an easy way to get lots of flavor into your dish and mix it up to combine. Mix it up really well. And that's it. If you want to, you can add an egg to the mixture, but I chose not to and it worked out fine. So I'm going to add some hot oil to a pan and I'm going to make two turkey patties from my meat mixture. So I took about half of it right here and just gently formed it into a patty type shape. You don't want to overwork it, make it harder than it needs to be. Just kind of make a patty-ish shape and put it in the pan and cook it. Cook it until it's done. You know what to do. I'm going to repeat the gentle patty making process and then put that one in the pan too. Off camera, I blitzed or processed a little bit more onion and garlic. I'm going to fry up that onion and garlic for my spinach. Here, I am going to turn over my turkey patties and admire their ugliness. They're going to be a little ugly. There's no breadcrumbs to hold them together. I didn't use an egg to hold it together either. So even though these will taste very good, they might not be the prettiest. Next, I seasoned my onions and garlic mixture for my spinach rinsed the spinach, added it to the pot, and now I am seasoning that pot with some dried herbs. And you can just toss it around a little bit until the spinach is wilted. It's important to cook the onions and garlic first until they're basically done and then add the spinach. All right, so then I served this with some lettuce, tomato, and avocado that I chopped up. And you're done. This has been the Basic Ass Cooking Channel. Very easy recipe. Thank you for watching. Bye.